Scorpio, hello, how are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details will be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from Spirit. That truly helps all of us empaths thrive here on this very dense planet. And oh boy, is it ever dense. His information is down below. But without further ado, Scorpio, let's dive right in. Let's see what Spirit has for you today. Get a couple more shuffles going on here for you. And we have, who the Page of Swords. There's going to be some good news coming in for you, some epiphany, some clarity coming forward that's really going to allow you to feel more comfortable and more confident with the choices that you have made thus far. Understand that now is a time where you just want to really find yourself in a place of peace, relax, balance, because the good, the good ideas and the epiphanies are going to be coming in shortly here. And all your jobs, right now is to do Scorpio is to just find a way to relax and have peace within yourself. The more relaxed and peaceful you feel, the more you are going to be able to navigate through any decision that's going to be coming forward. Okay. These decisions that are going to be coming up are going to be best made with uh, loved ones or with people that support you energetically that really have your best interests at heart. Okay. So really capitalize on who is around you and utilize these beings. Okay. Um, it's going to be looking good here, Scorpio. It really does feel like some good stuff is coming your way. Uh, look at that. Validated by the Ten of Pentacles, which is all about fortune, family fortune, family happiness, stability, financial and uh, financial security, I should say. So there's going to be some good news coming in here and you're going to be very, feeling very victorious and very successful with that six of wands energy just powerful and the hierophant i told you scorpio i told you there's good things coming for you i was feeling it i was feeling these vibes so with the hierophant this is i love this this is basically you ascending from this level of the video game that you're currently on up moving up to the next okay so you are uh in the process of uh moving up transcending uh, transcending ascending um and right now what's important to recognize is that there are going to be um, moments where you are going to be challenged a little bit uh, in terms of the ego because as you ascend and as you level up you're going to have those moments but the good news is when we ascend with the with where you currently are from what I'm feeling that where you currently are Scorpio is that you're going to be much more aware of when this ego comes up you're in a good place now you're in a higher vibration when you're in this higher vibration it's easier to be aware of your scenario right you've you've gone from the bottom level or the lower level and you're up to about here now okay now you're here and you're creeping up to here right so you're in a really good place right now for yourself scorpio i feel like you're pretty uh you're, you're pretty aware of uh of what needs to get done and what needs to um I feel like you got intuition, good intuition going on. I feel like you know exactly what needs to get done. And I feel like you know exactly what um, action steps need to be taken. Now, keeping that in mind, recognize that I feel like you are in a pretty high place and I feel like you've got a lot of clarity and I feel like um, you may be the leader in your life right now. Maybe this be around loved ones. Maybe this be around family. Maybe this be around coworkers. But I feel like you have a better perception than most at this time based upon where you are energetically, which means that when you are faced under the influence of an ego or when there is conflict or drama or somebody challenging you, I want you to be mindful that this person is fearful. They're projecting their fear onto you. That is what an ego is. It's time for you to take that fear and I want you to uh, transmute it because as an uh, empath this is your superpower you take negative energy you cleanse it and you push it back into the universe now the only way you're going to be able to do this is if you stand true to who your authentic soul is so you feel this energy it's going to feel like a lot of heat and it's going to feel very uncomfortable you're going to feel like you can't breathe you're going to feel like you want to run away you're going to want to feel like you want to fire back okay that's what a lot of energy feels like breathe through that recognize it I want you to talk to yourself this is somebody ego this is a lot of energy that I'm feeling I want to breathe through this this is not who this person is this is not what I have to uh, acknowledge this is not what I have to attach to this is not my energy this is not my energy okay start start saying these things in your head 
then you are able to be more clear and more precise with who you are. You're in your authentic self or you're in your higher self, right? You're in the power of your higher self at that point. When you can push through that energy and when you can breathe through that energy, you are in your higher self because you're not reacting. You're, you're taking it, you're transmuting it, right? You're moving that energy around, you're pushing it back out and you are your higher self. You're confident because you didn't react, right? This is powerful. So this is a time that's gonna come up here. And again, this is, I hate to say it, but kind of your responsibility at this point, just because you are in that soul's perspective and when we are in our higher self it's always up to our the higher self to be the bigger man if you will <laughs> and it does look like there is going to be opportunity for you to learn and grow and with learning and growth comes uh beginners right beginning a uh, beginning stages and here we have porcupine spirit just validating that it is time for a beginner's mind again looking at uh, perhaps a situation from a new lens because now you scorpio you're ascending you're in a new you're a new version of yourself so you can't make the same choices and live the same life that you once were because you're now no longer that same person you see and so you want to be mindful about when you may want to implement old habits and ask yourself is this is this who i still it does this habit resonate with me anymore does this action resonate with me anymore you know what i mean i feel like i've evolved from this right and then that's when you want to be mindful. And again, the universe will always let you know, because again, how you feel is how you're navigated. So if something feels good to you, then that's, that's great. That's where you're meant to go. If something does not feel good, if it doesn't feel, if it feels bad, if it feels like it's wrong, pick up on that, pick up on that. Don't look at it as like, I'm doing something wrong. Pick up as, oh, the universe is warning me. This isn't where I'm meant to be going right? And that's how you uh, transcend and that's how you ascend, excuse me, and that's how you transform by picking up on those subtle signals. And again, when you're not used to feeling the energy, then this will be new and it will be subtle. But the more you use it, the more you practice it, the easier it will become. There is this new form of meditation I've been doing. It takes five minutes. If you don't have five minutes, of Scorpio, you don't got no life, okay? No, I'm just kidding. I love you. You got five minutes. Here's how you do it. It's called um, Ouija, Ouija uh, Uji breathing. I butchered this. I'm so sorry, but it's a type of breathing that they use in yoga. And it's basically, you can um, Google it. O O or O U I J A I Y A. I believe breath work. And it's basically set your uh, timer for five minutes. Okay. And then in that five minutes, you just want to focus on this breath work. And it's basically where you breathe in through your throat, just Google it uh, or YouTube it. There's a demonstration and, um, it has been so profound in my life, let me tell you, because it's only five minutes and you focus on your breath. So you really are uh, disconnected from your thoughts and you really are in tune with your phys physical body. If you practice this five minutes a day and you go out in nature at least 10 minutes a day, this is all you need to start a, pra uh, a spiritual practice that will help get you in alignment with your psychic abilities even more so which is gonna give you the clarity that you require to be able to bring your ideas to life. This is the universe validating that again, you have these good ideas, right? You have good, 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 aha, good, aha, <laughs> good clarity. And, and you have an understanding again of what needs to happen next, these uh, epiphanies, bring these ideas to life, right? Again, it, it's time to start something uh, fresh. It's time to have a, a, a new perspective on something because you are going through the motions of it. And just know that you're in the in-between phase, which means that you don't wanna rush things, right? So, um, so again, like you were here, you're now here, but you're headed here. So you're in that middle phase, right? You're in the in-between. So like, you don't wanna really energetically connect to what's around you because you're moving up. You know what I mean? Like you're not staying where you are. It's almost like if you moved from the bottom office up into the middle office, just to wait until they got your, you know, your, your uh, corner window office ready at the top floor, right? So you don't really wanna unpack your office, you know what I mean? Because you're gonna be moving again. It's the same thing with this level right now. You don't really wanna like get, Put roots anywhere you just sort of want to be an observer of what is currently going on you know what i mean you don't really want to connect to anything you don't really want to like attach you know oh this looks great i'm going to do this forever you know none of that just just okay i'm currently here i'm i'm ascending i'm going to move up um and and you're going to be moving up much faster so just remember that it's always about um keep the creation going keep it going what's next right focus on that what is next and again remember when there is being heat thrown at you you know how to deal with it now, right? Whenever you feel that like shortness of breath and you want to run away, most empaths, we want to, we want to 
avoid conflict, right? We want to run far away, right? But if we stand in that and if we breathe through it and in the process, talk to ourselves, this is somebody's ego. They are throwing at me what they feel about themselves. This is not what they think about me. This is not how they feel about me, right? And we talk ourselves through it and we breathe ourselves through it. And then we come, then we respond in a poise, matter of fact way, that other person is gonna quickly realize who's running the show and they are going to take our word much more uh, much more confidently. They're gonna take our word for, for um, they're gonna listen to what we have to say, <laughs> okay? So, 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 so that's how you handle that conflict with that energy there. Um, just know, Scorpio, uh, this is gonna be a very beautiful next portion of the game for you, okay? Again, new beginnings everywhere. New beginnings, new beginnings, new, new ideas, new fun things. Um, so just embrace it and remember, don't, don't attach too much to anything right now. Just let the universe keep allowing you, to, uh, keep guiding you, excuse me, keep allow the universe to keep guiding you through what feels good, okay? Only follow those good vibes right now. All right, Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Scorpio. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.